Welcome back to the second giraffe tutorial. I wonder if we could have a little sneak peek of what the giraffe will look like at the end of this lesson. I'm going to make this giraffe really colorful and I chose my markers to do so. I want to paint this area first and I'd like to have a blend from yellow to orange and red here. So I'm going to show you how to do that with markers. Let's see if I succeed. I start with my lightest color right on this side. And I'm going to push this down about, about here. Then I'll pick up my next lightest orange. Let's see how that works. Mm -hmm. Maybe until here. And I'm going to pick my yellow right away. And I'm gonna I wonder if I can blend these two together with my lighter color. Let's see. Oh yes. So if I go in with my yellow, I can blend this color into my yellow, make a nice color transition. But see how my tip of my marker gets contaminated? So it's always good to have an extra piece of paper, my test paper, and I'm gonna clean my tip right here. See, it's all clean now. Moving on, I'm going to add my darkest orange down here. It's not dark enough for me. I actually want to go into a real red here. Let's see, I have a red here. I'm going to try this one on the bottom here. Oh, it still doesn't look much darker. There. And then remember, we're using the lighter color to blend these two. So I'm taking my orange again. I'm going to try and blend this a little bit here. I'm liking this, this looks fantastic. I will move on and do the rest of this in speed mode. So this is what I think about. So I'm thinking of a line from here to there, but I don't want it to be straight. So I put a curvy line in here.
All right, I picked two blues, one with my lightest blue and my darkest blue here. I've decided to put in black sharpie lines in here as well. I actually decided um, that I don't like the white too much. So I'm going to add a third blue color to this. Mm -hmm. 